everyone welcome back to my channel hope you're having a great day uh, I haven't purchased a handbag for a really long time since September until I saw this bag it really broke my no buy spree so I want to talk a little bit more about the brand the bag uh, what fits inside and how it looks on me so the brand is called uh, Hemlock and Hyde. The brand is based in Pennsylvania, United States. It's actually closer to Philadelphia area. So it's where I live, the greater Philadelphia area. I saw this brand from a handbag Facebook group. Someone shared her purchase. And I was very intrigued by the design of these bags. First of all, most of the full green leather companies come out with like bucket bags, tote bags, but not that many have offers uh, a top handle more formal dressing handbags, full green leather handbags, and that's why I was intrigued by the brand. Then I read about the brand on their website. So they use uh, full green leather and their handbags are vegetable tanned leather instead of chrome tanned leather so vegetable tanned leathers are more uh, natural the leather tends to be stiffer uh, at the beginning and will soften over time and the color will change a little bit whereas chrome tanned leather they are more uh, carefree typically they use chemical to uh, dye the leather from what I uh, understand, the brand, the source of their letters are based in Pennsylvania. Their um, studio is in Pennsylvania as well. So the reason why they do that is they believe it can really reduce the waste and also the uh, footprint, the carbon footprint because the, everything is local, locally sourced and locally made. To think about globally, now a lot of productions are all over the world and you may buy raw material from one place then the raw material gets shipped to another place. Then you make the product at that, at that factory and ship the final products globally as well. So there's a lot of transportation involved. There will be a lot of packaging, a lot of carbon emission. So the reason why they source locally is try to reduce that. So I think it's a very interesting concept. Um, and a lot of people may not think it that way. And me included, I didn't really think about the additional uh, carbon emission or additional waste can happen during the transportation process from like sourcing material um, somewhere else or make, or make the product somewhere else instead of everything down locally so now i want to talk a little bit more about the bag itself this one is their mini bowery bag so i tend to prefer smaller handbag but they do have regular size one as well i would say their bags is on the more expensive side on the website this bag is 360 dollars it's definitely outside my price range, but I didn't purchase directly from the website. I got it from Poshmark and I was browsing and I saw this bag, the, the style I like and for a decent price. So I picked it up. Um, the dimension of the bag is nine inches by seven inches. And I think four and a half inches or maybe four and a quarter inches inches so it's a definitely a smaller handbag but fits all my essential the bag has a snap closure so it's very easy to open and close the bag does not have any zipper it's just big opening it comes with an adjustable strap inside the bag has a bag zipper pocket the zipper is really smooth and it feels a, a, a good quality zipper uh, I don't think it's YKK because I do not see YKK but the quality is still very nice you can 
can see the inside bag only has one zipper and one card slot. But that slot is actually very tight. I'm not sure if you can actually insert a card. So I think that's the general thing about uh, vegetable tin leather. It tends to be a little bit stiffer at the beginning. However, I would say compared to the other vegetable tin leather I have, this bag is less stiff than the Portland leather goods, but probably more structured than Julie Rose. So if you are interested in all my vegetable tan full grain leather handbags, I can do a separate review or I can do a separate video talk a little bit more about vegetable tanning process and the different uh, handbags or different type of vegetable tan leathers I got from different brands and do a comparison. The bag also has a back pocket, which is a bonus point for me always. It will fit my phone. Uh, again, the pocket is not very generous, so I can only slide my phone in vertically. The bag um, has four feet, which is not very common uh, for uh, I would say for full green leather companies, I, I rarely see them have bags with feet unless you specifically ask for it or customize it, then it's possible. The feet can protect the bag, so if you need to sit the bag on the ground or if you need to sit it on any hard surface, it will protect the leather from getting scratched. So uh, it's very nice uh, function. The bag has glazing. So it's like a layer of, it's not really paint, but it just binds the leather together and make the edge look smooth. So I would, if you ask me, do I think the bag is worth $360? Uh, I'm not sure yet. Uh, for example, the same vegetable tan leather, uh, you can probably get from a different brand for a better price point. However, I think what's unique about this brand is really the design. It's so unique. I don't see other brands offer this design. So if you really want to splurge, you have the money and you like this type of design, I think it may be a good option. But if you are on a more, if you're more budget conscious, I would, also recommend checking out other brands and if you're not like really in love with this style but you just want a full green vegetable tan leather there are other brands you can check out so in general i think the price is pretty steep steep i just want to point that out as far as the quality so far the stitching looks really nice like you can see it's perfectly aligned the the glazing has some minor imperfection the I guess the issue is all these glazing are uh, manually applied. So someone has to do it manually. So you can see, especially on the edge where the two leather pieces connect, it, it's very hard to have an even perfect coat of the glazing. So you can see a little bit, it seems like a missing piece, but that doesn't bother me uh, that much. Uh, I'm not sure how the glazing will wear over time because I know a lot of popular brands like Louis Vuitton, they always have glazing issue for like their wallets that are that are trifold wallet because you keep uh, folding the area, the glazing will eventually crack. I haven't used this bag uh, that much yet, so I'm not sure how this bag will hold up, like how the glazing will hold up. Uh, so that will probably be a future video after I use it for quite a bit. But the leather feels really smooth um, and still applicable even though it's a little bit structured. Now I want to show you uh, what fits inside the bag. So you can see the closure, because of the closure, I don't expect to fit too much and the shape of the bag, it's like a triangle, it's tapered become narrow on the top. So I don't really expect it will fit that much stuff, but we will see it. Um, I can show you. So this is a rough and tumble glasses case. It's, the size is very similar to a full-size wallet. And 
if your wallet is soft, it will fit inside the bag. However, if your wallet is really structured, it may not fit inside the bag. A compact wallet will definitely fit easily inside the bag. Uh, this is my make huge makeup case. I always carry um, in my like tote or large backpack. It will not fit. Oh, oh, it actually fits. I I wasn't sure if it would fit, but let's see if I can still close the bag after I fit in that huge makeup bag. So it does fit. However, you can see the shape of the bag doesn't look that nice. It expands the side. So if I do need to carry stuff, I will probably take everything out of the makeup bag. So I will bring a pack of tissue, a lip gloss, hand sanitizer, brush, floss, the uh, compact, and my card holder, keys, and everything would fit inside, but they all <laughs> mix together. And if I do that and close the bag, the bag still holds its original shape really well, and it doesn't feel like too stuffed. So this is I would say I can probably fear, fit a pair of sunglasses, then that would be it. it. The capacity of the bag is fairly limited just because of the shape of the bag and the, how the leather is super structured. But that's all I need on a daily basis, so it fits my need. Now, let's show you how it looks on me. Uh, as I mentioned, the strap is detachable. Did I mention that? It, it is detachable and the hooks are on the side so it's not that uh, visible on me if i carry it as a shoulder bag at the shortest setting this is how it looks i think it looks really nice and it's not too big or too small it's quite comfortable to carry on the shoulder and if I just want to carry my hand, I can um, carry on the crick of my arms. The strap of the shoulder uh, of the hand held is, I would say it's somewhat generous. And the adjust, the how the strap is, can be adjusted is very interesting. It's almost like an endless loop. So if I really want to adjust it and make it longer, this is the longest setting. And this is how it looks on me as a long shoulder bag, as a crossbody bag. I'm 5'6". So if you are my height, or slightly taller this the strap length is definitely going to work but if you are significantly taller i'm not sure if this is too this strap will be too short for you so based on my understanding the the brand does not take customized customization request which I kind of feel like mm, because the price point, I feel like they should probably take customization, but I don't think the strap will be an issue, but always reach out if you're really interested and want to directly purchase from them. Just ask them if they can make the strap shorter or longer based on your personal need. But overall, I'm really happy with the purchase um, because this bag is quite unique. The color is olive and, and I don't have any bags in this color. So the color is unique, the shape of the bag is unique, and the quality do feel amazing. Um, and hope this video is helpful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!